Lord, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Heavenly Father, I join all your angels and saints who sing your praises without ceasing. Let our life add to their chorus with heartfelt songs of praise and thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord, for all you have done for us. We praise and thank you for all the miracles of every day in our lives that we are unfolded it. We thank you for allowing us to address you as Abba Father and for all the blessings you have poured on us. We thank you for your gift of yourself to us in the Holy Eucharist. The universe and its unfolding story, like the Eucharist, is a story of your eternal love. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have given to us and what you have in store for us. Thank you, Jesus, for the song of creation that you have put in our hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the precious moment wherein we are in the presence of our Savior, Jesus. Let us spend these precious moments in listening to what Jesus wants to tell each one of us as we have come to take his touch as we go about doing our duties let us before that receive his grace receive his strength listen to his words of wisdom that he wants to talk to us he wants to convey to us so that strengthened by the words of our savior we may go out and wipe the tears of our brothers and sisters who are suffering, who are anxious, who are worried, who have no one to look after them. Let us recharge ourselves to charge our brothers and sisters. Let us spend these few moments in the presence of our Creator. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus wants to talk to us. And many a times, we have this common complaint saying that the Lord is not listening and talking to us. But the Lord speaks to us in various ways. But today, at this very moment, He wants to talk to us through His holy words. To listen to the words of our Savior. Let us then prepare our hearts and minds and surrender to the Lord all that is what disturbing us at this moment. Let us surrender everything to the Lord so that we focus to each and every word that He wants to tell us. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Chapter 7, verses 11 to 17. One day, Jesus went to a town called Name. His disciples and a large number of people went with him. As he reached the gate of the town, a dead man was being carried out. 
he was the only son of his mother and she was a widow a large crowd of townspeople accompanied her on seeing her the lord felt pity for her and said do not cry then he came up and touched the bier and the bearer stopped jesus said young man i tell you get up and the dead man sat up and began to speak and jesus gave him to his mother great awe came over them all and they praised god saying a great prophet has appeared among us god has visited his people this report about jesus spread throughout judea and the surrounding country the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear brothers and sisters today we are praying for our brothers and sisters who are caught up in their own anxieties sufferings sorrows depressions tensions who are mourning for the loss of their loved ones and today we see in the gospel passage that we have heard how jesus when he looked at that lady who had lost her only son he had pity for her probably jesus must have looked at his own life to what he was going to in few years or in few moments he would be crucified and his beloved mother a blessed mother mary was already an widow and how she would weep for the loss of her beloved son jesus probably jesus had this picture reflecting and coming into his mind and therefore he had pity for her and he goes to her and says do not cry and he gives life to that man or to that boy of that lady and the joy of that lady must have doubled because he was the only strength for her my dear brothers and sisters it is said that until and unless we go through a painful situation we will never know the pains of others so today all that we are gone through should not make us bitter should not make us bitter but should make us better persons so that we understand the pains of others and we go and wipe their tears not probably by a handkerchief but by the encouraging words like jesus who said do not cry so today my dear brothers and sisters jesus is charging us to go out and if you come across any person who is worried anxious sad trouble who is mourning for the loss of his loved one then spend few moments with him encourage him be a consolation to him spend some time with him in listening to his grief and helping that person to rise this is what jesus wants each one of us today so my dear brothers and sisters to do this we require strength and that strength jesus is giving at this moment to each one of us so then in the silence of our hearts let us open our hearts open our hands open our minds and receive the strength to go out and strengthen our brothers and sisters my dear brothers and sisters as we pray for our brothers and sisters we pray that the lord may wipe their tears and enable us so that we may go out and wipe their tears if you know any person let him let us bring at this moment before the lord as we pray for him dear jesus 
a whole stream of consciousness has flown away from us like a will on the wisp, leaving nothing except the indelible imprint of your beautiful face, marked by sorrow and passion. On our past, in our mind's eye, we can see your straightforward eyes misting over with tears. Let our tears today mingle with yours. As you weep over your creation, help us to realize that in your infinite love, you would have us reach out to others so that we become a sign of your consoling presence. You have said, Jesus, blessed are those who weep, they shall be comforted. Let our lives not be complete or finished till we have wiped away countless tears of our brothers and sisters. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Let us pray the prayer that our Savior taught us for our brothers and sisters that they may be strengthened by our prayers and by our way of life when we encounter our brothers and sisters today. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray. God, our loving Father, we thank you for your beloved son, Jesus, who wipes our tears every time when we come before him. Lord Jesus Christ, as you console us, as you accompany us, may we too go out today with your presence, with your grace and strength. Go out and wipe the tears of our brothers and sisters and help them to overcome their difficulties with the encouraging words from the scriptures. Be with us, Lord, as we go about doing to encourage your people. Be with us, Mary, our loving mother, and intercede for us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us with a deep reverence let us bow and surrender our lives once again into the hands of our Savior Jesus as we sing the hymn of benediction. Let us bow in
Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen.